While you were sleeping, you might have missed out on this. Kilauea's 13th eruptive episode began on Hawaii Island. This was just after 2.30. Look at this. This is live. We're looking at the north vent within Halimau'uma'u Crater. And that lava fountain there already over 600 feet. Of course, whenever you have a situation like this, you start thinking about VOG and the community's downwind. And this is spectacular. I can't get enough of that. Yeah, that view is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we're keeping a watchful eye over Kilauea from here. The episode over the last few months have been giving us quite a show. All the episodes, right? Mm -hmm. This one, number 13. Carly, what does this mean for our weather? Well, thank goodness we do have our breezy to gusty trade winds in the forecast across the state. So that is helping to carry majority of the VOG south of the state. But areas confined to Kilauea and south of Kilauea still might be affected. But according to airnow.gov, we're still seeing some good air quality across the Big Island and the rest of the island chain. So that's good news. And another live view, of course, we have to take a look at it. Beautiful view over our Kilauea summit and the eruption, the lava fountains, and of course, it, the lava lake covering, I believe it's around 30% of the crater floor there. This is courtesy of USGS looking so, so gorgeous. And I had to share this because my parents sent me this this morning and I was just astonished. astonished. I don't even know what to say because <laughs> it is so beautiful. They were up early watching USGS's live YouTube stream of the eruption, which you can do as well. But my dad happened to just capture this screenshot of this bird and he zoomed in and I was like, that is a puel. How cool is that? So much mana going on up at the eruption site.